I've got a new project I'm working on. It's been a few months since I made any videos. Um, nothing's really transpired. I mean, I still got the old, you know, look just beyond the tunnel of my garage. Uh, however, obviously you're looking at something more modern. I think I'm crossing over to the dark side. Uh, I'm having a couple fuel-related issues with the 455, so... I've just decided, considering its age, it's getting to the point where you know, I'm just very sick of working on 40-year-old obsolete engines. So I'm going to sell the big block, and I'm going to go with something more modern. This, my friends, is a 2002 uh, 5.3 GM, GM engine. I refuse to call it Chevy, even though, I mean, obviously, it, it's a performance Chevy engine, but it's a corporate GM engine as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I got it from a fantastic wrecking yard up in Michigan. I had it shipped to my work at a very reasonable and affordable price. I mean, for right around 400 bucks, I had it dropped off on a pallet. I'm talking 400 total, including shipping at my work. This is going to, the engine is going to be treated with the LS6 hot cam. Um, and I'm kind of on the edge of deciding if I want to throw an Edelbrock Reformer carbureted intake at like a, like a Holley 600 double pumper, 650 double pumper, or if I'm going to retain the truck intake manifold. It's got the injectors and the throttle body, but I'll need to get a mass airflow sensor, I'll need to get a modified harness, a new PCM, and I'll have to have it flash, and all that stuff adds up. So, I mean, maybe for the time being, I'll carb it till I get comfortable and I get my feet wet working on these newer engines. Um, I don't know yet. Motor's in good shape, I hope. <laughs> uh, took the bottom end. I'm sorry, I haven't gotten into the bottom end yet. Pulled the plugs out. Oh, the burn is very nice. Very even. Motor spins over smooth. It came out of a Tahoe that was taken very well, nice care of. Very, very good maintenance records. I mean, the inside of the motor, I just returned the valve cupboards back onto the motor, and the inside is nice and clean. So, well, I'm sorry about the long ranting and talking. I know you guys. Like me, we like to look at pictures and video and don't want to hear someone talking, but um, stay tuned to updates and give me some insight if you guys like. Thanks.